Hello! Hopefully you guys are doing good. How's everyone today? Well, bam! Let's get into the game. So we have got DJ, Maverick, Myram, David, Britton. Already fixed, guys. Already fixed. If it's not fixed for you, refresh. Oh, good basket, good. Uh, David, I haven't even looked for it to tell you the truth. I know that won't get converted right away. What are you doing for your birthday anyway, dude? I'm doing good. Oh, what about yourself? Doing the GTA skin? I have no idea. This I got off of Mod Hoster a few days ago now. Just haven't had the chance to show you guys it yet. Favorite machine in Farm Sim? Honestly, it's probably the 6 series, John Deere's. Yeah, they've already fixed it, dude. That's been fixed for a long time. I'm guessing YouTube's been slow at fixing it. Yeah, the new sheds on the mod hub are pretty sick. It's nice to see some mods coming up there already. Including the real-time mod, which, of course, you guys can't see, but I have that in place. It was a absolute, absolute pain in the ass to get it set up the way I wanted it, though. That took literally hours for me to figure out what I was doing wrong. To get it the way I wanted. There's no diffuse, which is the colors. Isn't there not? Isn't there not? Where? Where? You have lost me. The fuel tank I was incredibly disappointed. The way I read the title of it made me think it was a 5,000 liter fuel tank. Meaning you had to refill it. No, it's just a refuel trigger. Disappointed. I've got it on the map. Well, you guys saw it in the thumbnail, but disappointed. Matthew Fergie, that's literally been fixed since the before of the stream. Literally before I started, it was fixed. So whether YouTube hasn't fixed that, I have no idea. Like, if you refresh, it should be fixed. I know my room in Canada. Uh, no, the Ford is not on the mod hub, guys. The Ford is on a different website. You broke the game, what do you do, Dave? What version of GE have you got, DJ? Hey, Virgil. Don't know if I said hello. I think I did. I'm not sure. Oh, 
Oh, oh, are those sheds balked? How are those sheds? I haven't, I've got them, I haven't looked at them yet. I grabbed the real-time mod off of there, which took me, like I was saying just a few minutes ago, an absolute age to get fully set up uh, the new sheds and the fuel tank. Oh yeah, that coffee's still way too warm to drink. What's your favourite part of FS19? Being able to see what the hell you're doing in the workshop, honestly. It's probably one of my biggest favourite features. Yeah, you can't see the real-time mob because it is underneath the banner. Yeah, hey, I was what's up, dude. Hey, yeah, Vexy. Blood Wolf, what's going on? Oh, yeah. Yeah, something to try and figure out on that one, Dave. I honestly do not know why the title still says that. That was changed way before I started streaming. That was changed before I went for a shower. No worries, Massey. You do spot yourself aboard. Yes. The four of that is struggling hardcore right now. Go. Uh, in that case, Mr. Remba Dave has been awfully delayed. Which is nothing new. Hey Dave, any update on how Sim made up? Uh, this is literally just a straight reskin, I think. Nothing else has been changed. Or the one that's up on the mod hub. In the New Holland. So I don't think anything's been done to it. Last I saw, he was in Birmingham. I still can't believe he took the coach. Oh, she like FS19? I love it. Whenever a new farm sim comes out, I always like it. I d never dislike the new farm sim. It's always better than the previous. And the people that don't like it are the people that are stuck in their, the old ways of the game and not willing to change up stuff. Really. I trust mod host in Massey, honestly. To be honest, for the most part, I've not had issues with mod hosted for years now. Yeah, hey, Alan, what's up? Bus, you late? <laughs> Send him gifts of on the buses, Dave. That's another classic that I used to watch back in the day.
There's a few versions of this floating around, actually. Variations of reskins of this. And to be quite honest, minus Scumhub, I typically download off various other websites as well, which may not be technically trustworthy. But that's pure out of convenience, and typically those websites have a nice collection of, okay, what got drops today? Some nice Dutch farming machines. I want in the game, so why not give it a shot of making those machines myself? No, why not, dude? Hey, Paul, what's up? Okay, so we got this one. Actually, no, I need to hook that back up because it messed up on that field. We've got two of the fields seeded. Need to spray the other two, though. So we're throwing a set of row crops on this thing. Sparky did that would never happen. This channel will be very, very, very lucky to get even close to two, uh, to a hundred k. Just minimize the game, why don't you, computer? When is Sandy Bay coming out? Whenever Oxygen David starts working on it. He hasn't started working on it. Who knows if it may even come out? You never know. No, this isn't a TW, guys. This is far from a TW. This is the stock New Holland. That was in a put up on the mod hub reskin to be a Ford. Nothing special about this thing other than the colors and the, the uh, that name right there, literally. Take this back down to the yard. So we sold the soybeans that we got off the field for quite a bit of money. Yeah, Michael. That's what I mean. Nothing special. Oh, for that picture to me, Dave. <laughs> Whereabouts is he? Yeah, the server's still up. Although on the server today, there's reports of a couple of vehicles going missing 
and machines being cloned, which I've never heard of in the whole time of me playing Farm Sim, even multiplayer in the past. Venice, I'm sorry about that. Let's see how bad it is. <laughs> oh, he looks ruined. <laughs> Dang. He's in Middlesbrough, not actually getting the car until tomorrow. Holy crap, why? Why did he think that was a good idea? Oh, he must be at the hotel room now, then. How long did it take him to get to where he's getting the car? Hey, Jack, what's up? When modders finish making them, pull. You guys have got to realize it's going to take a while for modders to get their head around stuff. When you got people like Oxygen David struggling, the likes of him, knowing how much he does, if he's struggling with stuff, the guys who don't know a lot of technical stuff and do struggle with that are going to take forever. You guys have just got to be patient. It's going to be a few months before we start seeing good quality stuff come up. Jag, thank you for the 4.99 donation. Much really appreciated, my man. Really appreciated. But we are speaking of Mr. Simulate. Alright, time to swap the Ford out to Sprayer Config. Oh, some of you may not know this, and I didn't until today. They actually have a damn near full engine in here. Which I thought was pretty cool. Oh yeah, exactly, Blood Wolf. Exactly. It's going to take a while. For the good quality stuff, yeah, you're... Maybe... I, I've got a hunch, honestly, that we'll see seasons around Christmas time. Uh, but that's just me having a sneaky suspicion. I saw someone in my comment section today said the Seb had actually said the base maps were already seasons ready. So I think they were working on seasons a lot longer than people knew about. Actually, I can just keep the same tires on there right now. Oh, no, I can't. Oh my god. It was supposed to be like 12, so that's only an extra... Sort of an hour... Hour longer. <laughs> Thank you, David, although it's a while off here, my friend. God, I feel sorry for that guy. <laughs> I don't know why he just didn't rent a car. I told him they should have just done that. 
Which I don't need to go on that field. It's over here. This was Mr. Simulate looking for the cheapest way possible to get his new car. Actually, but uh, to ride the coach up to where he was, it wasn't bad. Hey, simulator game, what's up? Didn't you say it was like forty pound or something? It's not along those lines. It wasn't very much at all. Curiosity, does Facebook on people's phones keep on logging you out saying your session's expired? Because it keeps on doing it on mine, it's freaking irritating. Good, what about you? I'm doing good. twice as long exactly uh, the, uh, the trip was supposed to take six hours by car and what 140 pound give or take to rent it no mine's like oh, I don't get it this phone's a piece of crap it really is I hate it but hey it does well actually I can't even use it over here Probably because the phone keeps on saying it's so full it can't update apps. Even though the phone is pretty much empty. Pine of coke spilled over my desk. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That didn't get in any of your electronics at a virtual. Hey, Sean. Honestly, there is a hell of a lot of people groaning and groaning about the game. It's buggy. There's no one that can say it's not buggy. I mean, you're deluded if you think it's not. They are working on the issues. And I honestly suspect we'll see them very soon. Uh, this mod is off of Mod Hoster. It was released a few days ago now. Oh, okay. I I need to do a fire reset on the phone, see if that helps, but yeah, I'm not worried. Oh, that sucks virtual. Blip with some hard work up. Yep. So we can get some of this other stuff back down to the yard. Hey, Dusty. How's it going, bud? Going good over here. This is where Follow Me would be very useful indeed. I have no idea who that Ford's mod by. It's literally just a reskin, guys. Reskin of the New Holland that's in game that Giants put up on the mod hub recently. Your battery is low. Yes, it is. Yeah. 
Glad to hear, but glad to hear. Something I've actually been meaning to do on this map is go investigate. So we may end up doing a bit of that. I don't know about you guys, but for me personally, I've not really looked around this map. The American map? Yeah, I can navigate quite well around. But the same areas on this map I've not been to yet. You'll see that on Thursday for sure. Oh, really, Dave? Interesting. 25 likes in. Come on, guys. We've got 95 people and only 25 likes. You guys can do better than that. I'm just looking. These mirrors on this vent are probably some of the best setup mirrors in the game. They ain't half bad at all. Oh, really? The sheep balked as well. No more space to place pu new pallets. Well, at sheep. Has anyone else had that issue? Because there is nothing there last time I was there. Hey, James, what's up? How's it going? Yeah, there is actually nothing there. Yeah, hey, dog, what's up? Okay, yeah, this that's been placed for a little while now. The sheep, are the, oh, not the sheep, the chickens are the same way. Not for example. The eggs you can run fast. Oh yeah. Can if you've got cheat mode enabled. Yeah, like I was saying, Dark, earlier, I honestly have never heard of that in Farmer Simulator history, vehicles just disappearing and clones being made of other stuff. The only thing I can say, and it honestly was not me, someone else that has the admin password was pulling a joke, but I doubt it. Who knows? Chug the Red Bull all night. <laughs> How long does the stream go for? Probably about now. I've got to render a video up for tomorrow. Which I think is a long one, so it's probably going to take a bit. No, this is something you do before. It's something you edit in a shortcut. Gives you extra commands, makes you run fast. For the average player, the commands are pretty much useless. But as a content creator, it's kind of... Ooh, that scenery was all messed up then. As a content creator, it's useful. It's kind of like having... Uh, creator tools again. That's probably what creator tools hooked into, to be honest. Yeah, we don't need no stop sign.
All right, that's pretty much everything back in this shed, which is nice. Makes a change. So is that any fertilizing? Yes, that does. And I think this is just on his last path. No pass. <laughs> Basically what Dave said. It's simple enough to do, but it's something that I wouldn't even be able to begin to walk you through over a stream to do it. Because it took Dave literally to copy and paste the damn thing before I got it. Which, Dave, I'm surprised you haven't done a video on that, actually. I don't know what you guys think, but this Ford, I think the blue is just too... It doesn't look right. Maybe it is, but it just doesn't look right. What do you guys think? Granted, his foot can completely covered in mud, which it will stay that way. But it just doesn't look the right colour to me. Maybe it's too dark blue. Yeah, I honestly say you do it, Dave. I think that would do quite well for you, especially once people get told what it does. One, two, three. I have not been up there. <laughs> Them clickbait views, yo. It's not even clickbait when it's true. Uh, the New Holland. New Holland, I believe the numbers are exactly the same. The 8330, or 8340. Oh, that's a point, Dave. I wonder if it doesn't. Have you not... Oh, uh, uh, yeah, you don't have enable, do you? I'm not going to lie, there's some pretty sick commands in there. Stuff I'm still not sure how it works, but there are some pretty sick stuff. We may actually need some more fertilizer. Great. Uh, sorry about that, guys. I just sneezed my head off. Oh. Alright, some of you may get bored of this. I don't know. Let me know if you, it's something you want to see. Is G8 stable again? Uh, G8.1 is in beta, so take that for what you will. Uh, let me know if you want to see this, but should we take a, or shall we take a tour in the side by side of the map? Just a quick blast around. Yeah, side tech will always work for uh, PC. I don't recommend it. It really is a piece of junk, but uh, if you've already got it, yeah, it works. switch that back on there we go it works on steam oh my god it's brilliant <laughs> all right someone was saying the roads up the top there by the sawmill pretty good so let's go check it out Spreads on hard work, Aaron. Oh, the character actually moves around in the vehicle, too. That's kind of funny. Hey, Nathan, what's up, buddy? Did you ever get a chance to look at the gator? Out of curiosity. We've got a nice little fuel station up here.
Uh, Patrick Madea is pretty good. I'm in Canada, so Madea is still very much young. Oh, wow. There's some scenery there. It looks like a bit of a forest there, too. Interesting. Oh, wow, this is a steep ass road. Dang. Is that popping errors? No, it's present. I don't know where to do. Now you weren't kidding about driving right up here, dang. It's steep. All the walk this too. That's actually really nice. Thirty eight likes in. Oh my god, this one. Looks at your right, you can see a castle. Probably from way back there. What's up with your graphics card then? Back on stuff, though. What on earth is this building down here? Nothing special. Hmm. Hi, right, workers, stop working, the tank is empty. Yeah, I've got, got them in here. Uh, at some point, I will probably put them on this map. It's just something that will take a bit of figuring. And the map, uh, the tractor that was in the thumbnail, as someone asked. Is that? Oh, it's, uh, it's just a stationary, pretty much is the New Holland 8340 which is up on the mod hub but that version has been reskinned as Ford which is on my poster. Hey game Dragon, what's up bud? Oh yeah, no wonder. Blood. That'd be uh, kind of crazy. Okay, why is that a different colour on the map? I'm surprised they didn't put these two fields together, actually. I'd quite happily do that to those. I don't know, I came up yesterday, put it in, and install drivers, one in game. Uh, what graphics card did you have in there before, Nathan? Was it the same type, at least? The same brand? Some parts on the map, it's just... Look at it. Hasn't got all the detail in it, but wow. Hmm. 
What was it? Uh, NVIDIA GTX or whatever? Because they shouldn't have an issue if you're swapping from something like that. Hey, Tom. What's up? If anyone's wondering what's going on, I'm really just having a cruise around on this map. I've not really looked at it properly before. Of course, we're on our way to back down to the farm now, though. If I stop spinning out. GT. Uh, we'll be different drivers. When you put in the... GTX card, did you make sure you uninstalled all of the NVIDIA drivers and just ran off the Windows stuff? Where am I on the map? Okay. Stuck in 20 pits. You'll get it working, Nathan. Oh, 100% believable. 100%. Difference is so night and day. Giants have really stepped up their game in these. I'm not, I'm gonna say it, this has gear simulation. Like, watch from the start and watch the RPMs. And the sound. Oh, it didn't do it then. There's times where it feels like it's changing gears. Like, the RPMs will drop and then it'll pick back up. That being said, although the Mahindra is way faster, obviously, I still don't like it compared to the Gale. Oh, it almost got the whole thing done, really. I'll have to buy some more Ferritimu laser, and then we'll fast time. Actually, we'll have that other field to do too. Well, this is the tractor in the thumbnail, for the person who was asking. For two likes, nice! I've only got about 15 minutes left of the stream, guys. Uh, Giants Media partner, Tom. So I'm a Giants Media partner, along with a few of the other guys that are in here, so we all got them. Although, that being said, if you guys do want the John Deere Gator, you can get it off of there. Very, very, very cheap. Link should be coming into the chat. Momentarily. Dave, yeah? I wonder if Giants even know that, actually. Or, um, or should I say, I wonder if Lars even knows it. Have a good one, David. Happy birthday again, my friend. 
Yeah, the Mahindra was a pre-order bonus. Actually, I'm surprised they didn't put up on the website. CYD, what's up? How's it going? No worries, David. Hopefully you have a good day. And don't stuff yourself too much with food. The king, what's up, dude? Yes, I'll say food. Yeah, he's going out for his birthday meal. Forty-four likes in. We lost a couple. We're forty-five a bit, weren't we? Hey, Jim, what's up? Then I'll ask the single guy. Hey, what's up? Okay, done. Well, that being said, the clouds. Look at the clouds. Dang. Okay, <laughs> right, little. So it's the way. Every release of farm sims is the same, as far as that goes. So it's not good enough for some people. They expect the world, and then when big changes happen to the game, they're the same people who complain, going, "Oh, they make it so hard for people to mod." No, they're making the game up to today's standard. Yeah, pretty good. She's doing pretty good. It's not. It's not a file. Fast farming is actually a shortcut to the game you have to create and you change a bit of a target to what it loads up. So basically you're telling it to load up the game in a certain mode. I think Rainbow Dave's gonna look at doing a video on it. So if he actually does that, stay tuned for uh, Rainbow Dave's channel. If it was like editing a file, I would tell you through a live stream, but it's not. It's a bit more complicated than that. Oh, nice one, Dave. There you go. Now feel free to promote that one. You may have just missed what I was actually just saying that you were planning on doing one. Shutterbox, what's up, dude? All of the money bags, Dave. All of the money bags. If you're wondering what mode it is, Virtue, it's the same mode that you and Sim had when you were in Germany. So you can do all the field stuff, add wear, clean the tractor, add fuel. Oh, nice little shot of box. Ah, no worries. Yeah, once it's ready to go, Dave, if I'm still live, which I should be, actually. Throw the link in here if you want.
Well, when I do this virtual and circle through that command, that command, that command, buy uh, GS cheap money right there, cheat silo, and if I go way up in the logs, hopefully it's there. Underneath the time and the date that I started the game. Cheats enabled. <laughs> There's one thing that pretty much every content creator needs. I'm guessing you know how the fields commands work virtual from your time in Germany. Exactly virtual, exactly, I, it really is. It's probably what Creator Tools was hooking into. Yeah, I was trying to figure it out earlier. Like, what when it wants the field index, is it literally as simple as putting the field number and then, like, say, cultivate? Or plow, from what I was trying to work out earlier? Not going to spend the time on the stream and do it, but something that I wouldn't mind figuring. Okay, that wasn't working for me earlier. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I was trying that. Hmm. I'll have to have a mess around with it later. Because that will be a lifesaver down the line. What a lot of people don't realize, for the rest of you that are in here, there's a lot of, at times, especially when the game is so new, we have to put in a hell of a lot of time in off-camera work. It's something that I don't usually do, but when the game is this fresh, I think all of us end up going into doing some off-camera work, and that would save a lot of time. A hell of a lot of time, actually. Hours. E easily. Hours. It's not too bad once cosplay comes out, because then you can just have that going in your video. Yeah, it's not actually working. This. Yeah, it does. Sweet. Alrighty, we are good to just, uh... First time. Wage payment. 300, dang. So just to kind of somewhat demonstrate that, with what Dave's just done a video on how it all works. Oh, fair enough, virtual. So, what I can do is, what was it, 101 or something? So I can go boom tab and then 301 and oh look I've just gained back the uh, <laughs> worker money by the way what is FS biggest rival I honestly say this I don't think Farmsome has a rival that's worth mentioning I and Callum Crops is always going to be there but They've gotten so little right now and have been doing so little. I think they're pretty much done and dead in the water, personally. And there's a lot of other games out there, farming games, but they don't do the same stuff Farmsim does. Farmsim really has the market with that. 
Granted, some of them have orchards in and other mechanics that farms them don't, but give it a while and they will. Pure farming to a point. Yeah, exactly what Dave said. Exactly what Dave said. Please don't have weeds. Get in. Oh, and that'll also make you uh, be able to run real fast. So is he? What's up? Maybe farm dynasty. No, that had too many issues off the hop. Granted, I think a lot of it wasn't their fault, but they did have a lot of issues. Hey Dave, just food for four in the comment section and pin it maybe. Literally copy and paste that line that they need, like you did for me. What's that Farmer's Dynasty? Yeah, from what I've heard, Farmer's Dynasty, there's there's a lot of stuff that just takes forever to do in that game. And it's almost like it takes too long for a video series. From what I've heard from various different people that have watched the game that wasn't interesting to watch, they were saying, basically. Mods I don't know. There's uh, what five mods that got put up today, something like that, up on the mod hub. Later, Virgil. Oh, it's probably a good game to play, no doubt about it. I mean, as a uh, series, maybe a bit long-winded, I don't know. I'm just going off of what people have told me in the past. Oh yeah, that isn't the same style. The farm manager was very similar to, where is the case? I don't know if I've got it to hand. John did drive green. Do I? I'm not sure where the case is for that. Not drive green, uh, John the North American farmer, even. Now, we're probably going to get quite a yield out of this field. Oh my god, is that field cotton? Good crap, it is. Nice. Yeah, I was. Uh, I didn't mean to say John Deere drive green, but no, I'm not so. Wouldn't be playing the game if it was us for damn sure. Looking forward to Christmas. Yeah, just another day of the week if you ask me. But then you got family around. As you get older, you. It becomes the same for you. Oh god, yeah. That's still going, by the way. Oh, for it, feel free to put it in now, Dave. If anyone's interested, Dave's about to put in a link to how to enable the cheat mode. 
in Farming Simulator for PC only. Well, sorry, I've been playing this game for years. I at least want to get one headland done. Or maybe I'll go until the tank's full. Actually, maybe that's what I'll do with stuff. Uh, lag issue you were having? You were having a lag issue? That was a while ago, dude. That's right. What was it in the end? In TTD, or how it's called before that, um, the transport tycoon deluxe. Yep, transport fever is very similar to that. If you really enjoy that type of gameplay. Oh, really? What processor did you have, and what you what did you upgrade to? I've never seen anything like that before other than possibly drivers. Obvious, isn't it? Jeez, nah, how have you been? I haven't seen you around for a while. Oh my god, I was actually backing this up the other day like a boss. There we go. Oh, Commander, cool if I remember. Uh, follow FS17, FS19, players, YouTube channel, Landy. The guy who did a 12 hour stream. Push your envelope when it comes to customizing that. Did a 12 hour stream, dang. Yeah, it bubbles up. None of are on how to install cheap. <laughs> you don't install it. There, your video is a pile of crap, apparently. Alright, I've got to keep going just because there's so many old faces appearing now.
Did you watch Dayton's video drive? Huh, never heard of them. Where are they from? Yeah, Raz, what's up? Three types of game I play Sims, like FS, ATS, racing games, like Prism Room, Planet Coaster, setting my PC is strong enough. Ah. Yeah, I'm kind of the same way. I play racing games, Sims, FS, Euro Truck. Um, Stuff like that, and what you just said, first person shooters as well from time to time, if, in the mood, if I'm in the mood for stuff like that. I play the Hunter Call of the Wild as well. Haven't played that for a while, but that's a damn good game. Oh, yeah, cool. So we've got some notifications. Joanna, much appreciated. You should have a notica notification come across the screen, but if not, welcome to Landkid Family. Hope you enjoy your stay. If any of you guys are in here, please check the uh, notification, the little bow, wherever it's located on wherever you're watching. Make sure you got that ticked. Or a matter of fact, untick it and tick it again to make sure it's switched on. Because that does help YouTube's whacked for pushing out people's videos. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. It's been proven. And I can't help but feel within the last few years, the views have dropped dramatically. And it's around that same sort of time. People could be getting bored of the channel, more than likely. Bored of me, whatever. But I can't help but feel that's part of the issue. Oh, I still play FX. I've actually just got looking into possibly moving to prepare 3D, but the cost right now. Probably wait until after Christmas before grabbing that. I was looking okay to buy Skyrim for PC. How's the game on PC? I've got it. I barely played it. I, last time I played it, I got to a point and it was just constantly bugged. And that was ages ago, and I. I think got so frustrated that oh, it fought out and uninstalled it. But that was geez, some years ago now. Probably best part of four, maybe five years ago. Cornish Simmer, what's going on? There's a lot of old faces appearing, dang. Much appreciated if any of you guys did uh, double check the bell. Rubber side down. What's up, buddy? How you been keeping? What is it with all of the old faces coming in tonight? Holy crap. Explain for me. I like the general aviation stuff. I'm not big into the sort of airliner jets and stuff like that. So that's why I want to stay Microsoft simulated base. That's why I'm thinking P3D. Uh, at least I can do my air hauler stuff and keep to the small stuff. Oh, wow, Cornish. Dang, that's... Hopefully everything's okay with that. The world is your oyster with mods on that blood wolf, that's for damn sure. Been lurking for months, really? Dang, bud. Hopefully, uh, the family's doing good. I 
Article 13. Long and short with what little I know. Oh, the bush planes. That's sick, dude. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to him, Recon, there's a... I can't remember where he's from now. But there's a real good channel. What was it? Something Palmer. And he's got a... Home... Well, I say home built. Kit Fox. And that thing is just sick. If you put in bush plane pilot, you'll find it up on YouTube, I'm sure. But Article 13. It is a legislation that has not fully passed yet, as far as I'm aware. That is happening in the European... Well, Europe... Europe... Union. European Union. There we go. English. That has the potential of shutting down YouTube and Twitch Let's Players very very easily it's all to do co with copyright for music and films predominantly but it will affect games as well if it is passed youtube and twitch will have no other right than to remove content for countries that are in europe the eu which includes the uk scotland uh, northern ireland obviously all of europe so it's a big thing and that would stop predominantly all of you watching Farm Sim content. Yes, Farm Simulator could put out a statement, send it off to YouTube saying, yeah, we're happy for content creators to produce content on our games, like many media outlets will. But it still will stop that because it's copyright law. They would uh, have no other option than to take the stuff down. Oh, really? Damn. Yeah, it's a good channel. There's a few of them. <laughs> Still not yet, Shadowbox. Another one, uh, Recon, he doesn't do a lot of bush plane stuff, but has a great aviation channel, and you learn a lot. He's actually from Canada. Flight chops. Freaking amazing stuff. Uh, no, I've not seen that yet. But as far as the Article 13 stuff goes, guys, do your research. Look it up yourself. YouTube done a bit about it. I tweeted it. I uh, don't tweet often. I even put it in my uh, channel thing, if I remember it says correctly. Abe, what's up, dude? Thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate that one, my friend. Is that Norwegian Krona? 20 Nor oh, Norwegian Krona, if I think that is correct. And Jasper, you were asking about the live streams. The, uh, the multiplayer. Multiplayer will be tomorrow. Although I think Rainbow Dave is doing multiplayer, so I don't know how that's going to work. So yes, I still do the multiplayer. I need to need to get onto that tonight and actually set up my farm. So I may end up doing that tonight when I, I'll just take the server down and do it myself. Norwegian Crony, yeah, I gotta write them. Sweet. Alright, we'll do one more row, and then I'll call it quits. Yeah, the yield is pretty damn good out of this field, too. The lighting in this game is amazing. Good lord. Jeez, I can't talk. 53 likes. Nice.
Did we have coffee? Oh yeah. Doesn't streamers like you help sell their first by people seeing the game? Play? Yeah, exactly. Article 13 has nothing to do with the gamers or the game companies. They are highly, highly, highly against it. They don't want it. Neither does YouTube, if you read into it. There's some stuff that they agree with, but the way the EU has written Article 13, if I could swear, I would swear on this channel, is completely frigged up, let's say. And it's just stupid. It really is. It has the potential of being very, very damaging. So it's game cre game creators, developers do not like it, and it's very it has the possibility of being very very damaging for YouTube and Twitch. It really could be. Article thirteen will not affect everyone in the world. It's just Europe. Last time I checked, Europe doesn't own the world. Like I said, guys, research it. Look it up. YouTube did a post about it if you want to see how will it affect YouTube. Because how will it affect YouTube will it be also the same for Twitch. Remember, Dave, if you're still around, can you link that, by the way? Which I've got a feeling he's not... Now Jasper, if you're going to be on a lot, you can have your own farm. If not, then you'll probably be teaming up with someone. I'm not giving people farms that... If you go on there now, Jasper, if you follow the link to the uh, multiplayer video and follow that, you'll be able to join as long as you have the South American map. Oh no, Shadowbox, they can... I'll use me as an example, and I'm about to stop here, so I'll just get a nice view of the Combine. For me, as an example, I'm Europe-based, technically. Legally, still Europe-based. But, I would still be able to upload, I would still be able to do everything. But YouTube would physically, if Article 13 was passed, have to block my videos for everyone in Europe. In European Union. Now, for anyone outside of the European Union, for Rainbow Day, for example, he would still be able to view my content. For, uh, I don't know, is that part in the European Union? I'm not sure. I think they are. I'll, I'll uh, redo that. For anyone in North America, New Zealand, Australia, Russia, and the list could go on. Every other country that's outside of the European Union will be able to view our content still. We would still be able to post with no issues. But it would lock down the amount of people that could watch our content. So it would block out millions, if not billions of views across the platforms. But people in the States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand will still be able to watch without any issue. Yeah, it could completely and utterly screw the internet as you know it. And if it did, and hopefully it never does get to that point, you wave goodbye to YouTube for a while, you wave goodbye to Twitch as you know it for a while, and there would be huge battles going on in the courts, trust me. There would be huge battles. But I'm going to end it on that one. Do your research, guys, on Article 13. YouTube's done a thing on it, most media outlets are doing a thing about it. I don't usually get political, but you guys need to be made aware of this, because it will affect all of us that are in here right now, that are from the... England, really. And until Brexit takes effect, then, uh, well, we're still in that crapple. I would uh, use stronger words, but <laughs> I'm going to get out of here now. So until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll be back tomorrow in theory on multiplayer. But uh, until next time, catch you guys later. See ya.